This video, sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today we are going to create the second part of the Instagram profile intro. If you came the first time here, so please watch the first part of this video, so that you can understand better. You can find the link in the description box and i button. Let's see what we will be going to create. So let's get started. First today sponsor message, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives, where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey, Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, and more. You can learn motion graphic, logo animation, Premiere Pro, and many more from professional people. And you can get all these an affordable price. The first 1000 people to use this link will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. Again if you are first time here, please watch part 1 first, as you saw in the part 1, we have done our Instagram profile. So we need to rename the scene 1 as Instagram profile. Now we want to pop up our second image as Instagram post. First select all the layers and pre-compose them. And this is our scene 1 comp. Now go to few seconds forward, when your hand icon, appears on the second image. So go to project window and create new composition. Width 1080, and height 1600 pixels, I call this comp, post 1. Now select Rectangle Tool, make sure Fill Color should be white. Double click on Rectangle Tool to create perfect shape according to your comp. We want our corner little bit rounded. So open Rectangle 1, then open Rectangle Path 1, and increase the roundness around 25 pixel. Now drag your placeholder into the timeline, On the top left side we want to our profile picture, so drag the profile picture into the timeline, scale the layer around 10%, and adjust top left side of the comp. Then select text tool and type your username, and change color black. Align them vertically. In the bottom side, we need to add some icons here, so go to Elements folder, and drag bookmark icon into the timeline. Resize the icon around 10%, and adjust right side of the post. Similarly add the other icons also, and resize the layers around 10%. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Now select all icons and align the vertically. Add a little bit spacing between the icons. Now select Bend tool and create a line under the icons. Make sure fill color none, and stroke one pixel. And select little bit gray color. Cool. Now we need to add our heart animation. So go to project window and drag the color heart image into the timeline. Resize the layer around 50%. Now we need to animate the scale. So go to first frame and add a keyframe, and scale amount 0%. Then go to few frame forward, and change scale amount 50%. Now we need to add bounce expression, so copy the expression. Hold Alt key and click on the stopwatch icon, and paste it here. 
move the last keyframe close to the first keyframe, so you get the more bounce effect. Adjust the keyframe according to your choice. Now go to the last key on scale, and press Shift T for opacity, and add a keyframe. Then go to few frame forward, and change the opacity 0%. Adjust the keyframes according to your choice. Perfect. Now move the lay a few seconds forward. We also need to animate this small heart icon. So drag the red heart image into the timeline, above the heart layer. And resize the layer around 10%. And adjust red heart over the heart icon. Now move the layer, when our big red heart animation start. And trim the bottom heart icon layer on that frame. You can adjust the layer according to Big Red Heart animation. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now at the bottom side we want to add our text, so I am use dummy text here, but you can use any text you want. Cool. Our post 1 has complete, now go to main comp, and drag post 1 comp into the timeline, and move the lay a few seconds forward, and resize around 50%, and move the layer where hand icon click on the image. Perfect. Now we need to animate the post 1 layer, first create new solid layer, change the color little bit. Move the layer below the post layer, and move the layer few seconds forward, where post 1 layer start. First animate the solid layer, press P for position, go to few frame forward and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and move the solid layer bottom side of the comp. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now animate the post 1 layer. So create a new null layer. Parent post 1 layer with null layer. Select null layer and hit P for position and add a keyframe on same position where we add in our solid layer. Then go to first frame and move the layer bottom side of the comp. We also want to animate the rotation, so go to first frame and add a keyframe on rotation. And move the rotation minus 8 degrees. Then go to few frame forward and move the rotation around 3 degrees. Again go to few frame forward, and add a keyframe on position and rotation. And move around 3 to 5 degrees. Then again go to few frame forward, and move the position top side of the comp. And also move the rotation little bit. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this.
Increase the spacing between the keyframes according to you. Now we also need some animation in post one layer, so press P for position, and add a keyframe. Then go to last keyframe and move the Y position top side of the comp little bit. So it give us continuous movement in our position. Perfect. Now duplicate the post one and null layer. And move them together. Now we need to replace this post one comp layer. So go to project window and duplicate the post 1 comp. Hold alt key and drag the post 2 comp over the duplicate post 1 comp layer. Open post 2 comp, and replace your placeholder. Now go to main comp, and move post 2 and null lay a few seconds forward, when our post 1 start going out of the comp. Cool. Similarly you can add multiple post, but now am I want to add profile picture. So drag the profile picture into the timer line, when post 2 start going out of the comp. Now press S for scale and resize the amount around 25%. Go to few frame forward and add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame and change Y position bottom side of the comp. Select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Now also animate the rotation little bit, so go to first frame and add a keyframe on rotation, and change amount minus 10 degrees, then go to the second keyframe, and change rotation 0 degrees. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect. Now we need to add username bottom side of the logo. So go to Insta Profile Comp. Here we need to copy our username and shape layer. Then go to Main Comp and paste it here. And move the both layer a few seconds ahead. Select text layer press P for position, and delete the transformed position keyframes. Turn on the shape layer, and move above the text layer. Then select text layer, and change track matte alpha matte. Cool. Now we need to add heart particles, so create a new comp. This is our full HD comp. I call this heart particles. Then create a new solid layer. Select the layer and search CC particle world effect. Turn off the grid. Then open producer. And increase the radius X, Y and Z amount. Radius X around 2. Radius Y5 and Radius Z2. Now open physics and change animation, cone axis. Decrease the velocity around 0.10. Gravity around minus 0 0.010, then open particle. As you can see the particle here. But we want to convert these particle into heart shape. So go to project window, and drag the color heart image over the comp icon. So it will create a composition according to our heart. Now go to heart particle comp. And drag the color heart comp into the timer line, and turn off the layer. 
Now select particle layer, go to effect control panel, then go to particle, and select particle type, textured square. Then open texture and select texture layer, color heart. Here you can see the heart particles. Perfect. Decrease the death size around 0.100. Also increase the longevity 5. Cool. You can adjust the radius XYZ according to your choice. Also decrease the birth rate 1. Now go to main comp. And drag the heart particles comp into the timer line. Cool. One more thing, we need to add shadow in our post. So select post 1 comp layer, and search drop shadow effect. Opacity around 20%, distance around 30. And increase the softness around 200. You can adjust these amount according to you. Copy the effect and paste on another post layer. Perfect! Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.